Okay, so Jane, tell us what this booth means to you and your history here at Purdue. Well, actually, it started with my dad, who was from West Point, Indiana, which is near Lafayette. And um, he had to work his way through college. He graduated in 1939, and this is where he waited on tables. It's called the Sweet Shop. And we're here today in 2012, and it's still a sweet shop. Um, this, this corner booth, and back in this corner was where you would come if you were, and sit if you were sort of on the radical side, or minority students sat here. As you can see, it wasn't a huge place, so there weren't really, this little corner represented just a few people, but it was always back in this corner where you could come and find some of your friends that were starting to think different things than others at the time. It was sort of early. 65 to 69 was when I was here. But this was the place in 65 to come. Well, and so what were the things you were thinking that were a little bit different? Well, the students just didn't seem very... Um, well, it, it was a farm... It, it, it probably still is farming and engineering, so... Um, there weren't a lot of uh, students thinking about what was happening in the world. Um, most of the students weren't from large cities like I was. Basically, we were a little bit different than the rest of the student body as out-of-state students. That's it. And then they actually, they blocked out-of-state students, right? Or they raised the tuition for out-of-state students? Well, no, that came a lot later. Oh, okay. The, but the first action that happened here was probably 65, 66, probably 66, um, when you entered the student union building, all the students, the female students had to wear skirts. So it, in the winter it was very cold and I lived on a dorm on North Campus, so it was about a two mile walk. And you'd literally probably get frost, frostbite on your knees if you didn't wear tights or something. Um, anyway, so the first action was, there was a, a a number of women came into the union building wearing pants, and then that rule went away. 